Let us know, like after you start serving or when you start drinking. Yeah. Perfect. We'll do that. Oh, we'll find you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks. Well, not when I'm eating. I'm, I'm busy then. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Come on. I'm, I'm messing with you. We don't interrupt you when you're working. <laughs> Tony and I'm Cody. Hey, we're here for the Colorado Cup Barbecue Boys. We're in 2023 for Tootsie's 88th birthday, and we flew all the way out here from Colorado to celebrate her day with her. And where we were, where were we one year ago today? Right here. That's right. That's right. We're here again for her 87th birthday. And as you guys saw our video, it went pretty crazy. And watch this video; it's going to get even better. Hey, join us. So we got here a little bit earlier. We cut our line in half this time. That's right. Here we go as if we weren't rookies. All right, so when you see us, we'll be a few beers in and we're gonna to talk to Clay and, and talk to Tootsie. I'll try it. <laughs> Since you're pushing on me. Geez, okay, I'll do it. Fine. scooby doo doo All right, so we came all the way here from Colorado. These are the people that we're with right now. We got our families with us. How many is in our group? About 16. Six, 13 is in our group. Lucky number, including Corey? 16. Oh, 16, including <laughs> Corey. We have some more people coming out from Houston. Gonna join us here. 17. 17. Look at you, you're a big counter. Uh-huh. Good to go. I used your fingers. But actually, we came out here for a birthday. I don't know if you guys came out for barbecue or a birthday today. Or both. My birthday your birthday is yesterday, great. Oh. Little one's birthday is today. And have you guys Tootsies? been here before? No, first time. First time, and where do you guys live? So you're from Dallas? I live in Justin, technically. Oh, no, I've been there. I actually, my wife and I, she's seven generation Texan, and we just moved to Colorado about three years ago. And the whole scheme was, he's from Wyoming, and he's from Utah, and we're all sat there, came around one day going, we gotta find the best barbecue in Colorado. And uh, I used to compete, used to judge barbecue, and I'm like, Colorado barbecue sucks, we gotta find out. And so we went traveling all over Colorado, and he has this style of barbecue, and he has this style. And um, so he said, yo, let's all fly to Texas, let me show you where real barbecue is. So I flew them all out, the whole family, about uh, last year, and we hit up Lockhart, because we, we lived in Dallas for many years. And we went to Lockhart, and then we went to Austin, and we came here, and they it just changed your world, didn't it? A little bit for how barbecue yeah. is. Turns out he was right for the third time. <laughs> <laughs> when he said that, that, that there was no no Colorado barbecue that compares to Texas barbecue, um, we stopped by Bucky's and it was better than, than Colorado. No. Uh, that's, that's not true. AJ. Yeah, no, AJ. No, 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 we, we've, we've got some good stuff. We do. What's your name? Todd. Todd and? Charles. Todd and Charles. And where are you guys from? It's my son-in-law. He's from Dallas or Plano, Texas. Plano, yeah. And then I, I lived in... Uh, Hayes County over in Buda for years. I grew up there and then just moved into South Austin a while back. Oh, nice. Very nice. Is that how you like Plano? It's great. Yeah? How long you lived there for? On and off for about a decade. Okay. Very nice. Yeah? Lived in that area for a little while, for, for a bit. Very nice. And so what brings you here today? A birthday or barbecue? It's barbecue. Just barbecue? Have you been here before? No, first time. Okay. Kind what? of new to the, the barbecue game. So. Where do you guys go for barbecue in Dallas? Uh, I've been to Cadillac a few times. Where's Cadillac? I never heard of that. Uh, Addison area. I think it's the top ten. Is it? There's okay. Not top, I don't know it's on the list. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. I've never heard of it. Okay. Good. It's fairly new then. Like newest in the last three or five years. I think so. Okay. Very nice. Where else do you go for barbecue? I'm kind of newer to it. I don't know. I feel like we were talking about Salt Lake earlier. We've been there a few okay. Times. Well, that used to be so like where I raised my kids. So Salt Lake was 10 minutes down the road, so that was an easy yeah. so Sunday afternoon. Hey, what do we eat? So yeah. she'd go there. And they have, like they mentioned, the atmosphere is really cool. So yeah. somebody else had mentioned it, but yeah. it's a little more commercialized than some of these other places like here. It is a beautiful atmosphere. It's a great place to sit, have a glass of wine. You go in there. Who's, who's from Utah? This gentleman. So I'm going to be in Salt Lake next week. Is there anywhere around that area to try? Not really. Okay, then, um, trying to think. Uh, we used to like going to the wine bar. Um, they have... Cafe Molise is above it. Right. Below it's the wine bar, so it's just, I mean, drinks, better ambiance, but you can order food from above, and there's okay. a, uh, they have like a pork loin that is just okay. amazing. Yeah, I'll just, yeah, if you get on, if you get on our channel, you can scroll through, you'll see we reviewed all the places in Colorado. So y'all, y'all just go around and do the little mini documentaries like you It's all we do, yeah. yeah. We're not famous, we're not big, we just like no, talking I mean, about barbecue just, and just it's a good write-off. Yeah, yeah. It, has, it hasn't paid anything yet. <laughs> you know what, <it> has, <laughs> no, you know, except, except for uh, clogged arteries, um, oh. <laughs> well, a couple other a couple other minor health issues like heart problem. But. That's the game plan and then we go back Monday and flight's at 1.30 and Mickelweights is closed on Monday so we're going to try to figure this out. 
But it's really just about being with people, eating good food, and being with family and friends. Yeah, that's that's all. Yep. Yeah. Well, good stuff. Well, cool. Well, thank you for your yeah. time. I appreciate yeah, you guys. Too. Appreciate yeah. you yep. Yep. Thank you. Today, I'm going to, of course, the pork steak. And since he does that, we didn't try the chicken last year. So we got to do the chicken. The ribs is a must. That was amazing. Yeah, the ribs. And the brisket from Clay. And I'm, I'm Pretty really. Pretty much everything on their menu. I guess. I'm really here for the coleslaw. One of everything. Okay. No, I'm really not. Tony, but, banana pudding. I didn't have the banana pudding last time. I know, I ate it all. <laughs> you ate it last time. Is that the Humble? No, the Hubble. The Hubble telescope. I know. Because I kept saying how great I look. It's called the Humble. Get it? Uh. <laughs> And, 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 I'll try, and, and, I, and I don't trust yeah. anybody to order for me. I gotta go to the bathroom so bad. I'm like right here. I just wanna. Like, I just wanna say I'll take it all and then go to the bathroom. <laughs> if I was Bill Gates, I'd be like, I want it all. I'm done. Sorry, Dad. Remember you? I've got all this. I'm about to throw away. I've got all this brisket. I'm gonna throw away. You should have bought more. So I've been no waiting in line forever. I've been thinking about this, and there's three of us. I'm gonna go three bags of chips, and we're good. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> I would do the banana pudding. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'll stand back. No, can I please do? Can you um, put that in a bag of chips? A pound of brisket, uh, uh, extra moist. Can I do a, a whole quart? But I've been practicing this all month. I'll okay. take everything you yes, have right sir. there. That's perfect. We'll do one of those. That's, and that's and old, but we had to do that. I love you for that. We'll do a half now a chicken. Now you know. Please. Last year I came in here. I wanted a, a half a beef. I want a side of beef. Blah, 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 blah. And you gave me a koozie because it was my birthday. Oh, I was going to say I thought you looked familiar. I know. I was like, oh. Still my birthday. Still, you guess one year later, still my birthday. No, but thank you so much. That was fun last year. Thank you. Well, I mean, I'm good with this. I'm going to come back. Yes, ma'am. And can I do a half a rack of ribs, please? Look at this. So, I got a whole pork steak right here. I got a half a chicken. Look at that smoke ring. Look at that smoke. That's a quarter inch. Yeah, it's a quarter inch of smoke ring right there. Look at the moistness on this. This is a play did a well, great job on this uh, right now. This is just the How smoke. many ribs you want? That's, and we got a half a rack six. of ribs coming. You're so good. Look at yeah, that. Yeah. We got the turkey. So we'll get, we'll no, get like those turkey, ribs, but please. This is going to be amazing. And look at the smoke ring on this. May I just show them that? Look at that, Zach. That's going to be amazing right there. So, Zach, this is that's just for me. There we go. I hear a line. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Perfect. Oh my god, that's perfect. Um, oh my god, I'm gonna have though, roughly how much yeah, brisket yeah. is that? Wait a minute. <laughs> it's a amazing. year ago, here we were. It really is. Like, I wish more of my friends could try this. Like, just try it. Like, it's amazing. And, hun, here's some beans for you. My friend Travis, I grew up with. Yeah. He would go nuts for this because this is what he does. I mean, this is his favorite food in the world. A again, the whole experience is not just that, it's the people. It's the camaraderie, it's the cookers, and, and the seeing, happy birthday. And seeing the people who you came to see, which was Tootsie and Clay and, yeah. and, and, and Carrie. And the lady remembered me from the store. Yeah, she's like, oh, yeah, that's she's nice. like, oh. You're yeah. unforgettable. No, I was summer. really, really drunk last time. <laughs> she's like, oh, yeah, this I remember you. I, I approve. <laughs> I approve. You know what? I um, approve. <laughs> I approve. Yes, sir. I have videos. Well, I imagine the six times you were in court over last year, they do remember you. Well, she was a witness. Yeah, she they had. Witness. Yeah, they had to point you out. Yeah. Uh, do you see the guy here? Yes, that's him right there. Which is great. Still our number one place. Still number one. Yeah. 
And it's not just, the food is great. It's the people and the atmosphere and the whole, it's the whole experience. Yeah, I, like the waiting in line, you would think that that makes it worse. That I think that makes yeah. it better. Makes it, yeah. The people really nice in line. Yeah. We got to talk and everyone, yeah, talk. and people like, they wake up that early in the morning, they know something about barbecue or they yeah. want to try about something about barbecue. Yeah. That one guy was like, I don't know anything about barbecue, but But he, I'm but, here and right, I'm willing. I'm yeah. Yeah. When we met someone who's seen our channel. We I have, know, right? We have groupies out here. In the, the middle heck? of nowhere. You know, Estes Park. Yeah. Oh. And they're open every Saturday, right? Just it. Just one day a week. One day a week, yep. 8 a.m. on Saturday. And we have 400 subscribers, and of 8 billion people, one person was here at Snow's that subscribes well, so, to our channel. So, uh, Al Faye's on my team, yeah. um, he was in England two weeks ago, and they were talking about this event. They, Tootsie is known in England. Yeah, everywhere. England, huh? Her, yeah, his brother-in-law. His brother-in-law was like, yeah, um, we're, we're going to go check out this place in Lexington. And, you know, he was like, he was kicking himself because he ended up scheduling a camping trip because he would have rode down with him. You know what? This has been a great journey. You know what? Lexington delivers. I think I think Snows delivers. Lexington is okay, but Snows really delivers. That's just me, though. Because that, that quick trip over there. You eh. know, and people love being corrected on everything they say. <laughs> I know. I tell my wife that all the no, time. You should have. Yeah. You know, Cody, you're absolutely right. Lexington does deliver. You're absolutely right. Mike Parker from Michigan. Mike Parker from Michigan. So yesterday, Mike went to Franklin's Barbecue and actually had Franklin's Cook. And uh, this is amazing because I never had Franklin's Cook back to back with Tootsie's. And so what did you think today? And be honest, it's okay. I mean, honestly, the brisket yesterday was was better than okay. here. Yeah. But everything else here, phenomenal, absolutely best yeah. chicken I've ever had in my whole life. Yeah. The pork steak. Yeah. Same thing. The ribs, phenomenal. It's and I, ribs, and yeah. I didn't know that I liked Texas ribs. Amazing. Right. So yeah. do this. So you came from yeah. Michigan to do the Bible. You did the full uh, barbecue Bible Belt thing. Yes. So you think this is a good turnout today? Absolutely. Yeah. You, we're, this we're, is worth the trip. Worth all the effort to get here. Nice. I mean, honestly, and it's it's a cultural experience. Yeah. You look at all of this. This is not something we can see at home. No, it really right. isn't. And you yeah. got on a really good day because yesterday there's thunderstorms and tomorrow's gonna be more thunderstorms. Yes. So yes. you really lucked out. Yeah. And you know they, Cody, you know they do a shipping here. They actually ship barbecue now. We saw that. Yeah. I so, didn't know that until until this trip. Yeah. So I think we'll just try it. Well, we can review that too. And yeah. Try it. We saw you a I year just, ago. We saw you a year ago. And we said big, happy birthday. Two sexy guys. <laughs> and you didn't age a day now so good for you <laughs> no, you, know, you, know, you look the same so good for you thank you so much happy thank birthday you. hey can i get one more kiss for the cheek okay that, oh, one, that one counted that, that one, one counted happened. i got you got on video thank you Miss Titsy. <laughs> everything was amazing that pork steak was amazing and thank you so much for a great day yeah and thank you for celebrating birthday. your birthday, with us birthday and cooking on your birthday well, I'm glad you all came thank you so today. much thank you man i appreciate you thank you so much lord willing i'll be here either way we'll see the lord together <laughs> you know what? Thank you again. Thank you, Thank you ma'am. So today we're here with Clay at Snow's Barbecue, and Clay did the brisket, and again, home run, right? Yep, nailed Last it. Last year, My nailed it again. Nailed it. If I were to take his brisket and put it in a competition, it would get to the final table. It really will, and I'm not just saying that. Now, if I told you how to do one brisket, just focus on one, would that be badass? Uh, probably be harder for me. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, so I'm used to cooking 60 to 70. So sometimes during a class we'll cook 40. Yeah. And I'm more likely to burn really? fewer okay, briskets. I wouldn't have guessed that. I would yeah. never guess that. I never would have so thought I'm that. So I'm used to a mass amount. So when I, let's say I don't have 30 in there, then yeah. the pit cooks totally different. And oh, I'm you're not, right. I'm not used to it. So you would be, you have pit, you wouldn't do one. You would not, yeah. it'd be hard. I huh? would not be the guy you want to do one. Okay, well, there you go. Well, there you have it. Well, for the masses, thank you. But, yeah. but your, your brisket was spot on. That smoke ring you'll see in our video was like a quarter inch to a half inch. That was a beautiful smoke ring, but not too rich. And it was not too much yeah. smoke. And that fat distribution was amazing. They pulled it off at the right time. So thank you. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. Oh, no, I enjoyed it. We loved it. Tony, this is Kerry from uh, Snow's Barbecue. Tony from Colorado Barbecue Boys. Kerry, thank you again for a great day. And nothing, everyone was talking about to you, your chicken and your ribs and everything you cooked today. So, and the pork steak was amazing today. Well, we've got a great group that uh, does an excellent job. We're yeah. pretty, pretty blessed to have them. So what would you say if somebody just wants to start off doing barbecue? What would you tell them? Woo! Don't do it. Love it. Make sure your spouse loves it. Yeah, yeah. What would you tell them to start off with uh, so you don't get discouraged? Uh, take something simple. And again, it's a lot of, a lot of long hours and hard work. But uh, yeah, one meat would probably be ribs would be the most easiest. forgiving. Yeah, yeah. It's forgiving and easiest. Yeah. And then work your way to the brisket. 
Yeah, it's pretty costly to mess up brisket today. What yeah. we pay for it, it's pretty, pretty costly. You don't want to play with them very much. So let me ask you one question everyone's going to ask, and I always have this question. Here comes Cody. Why only open one day a week? Well, we opened up originally in 03 to serve our local farmers and ranchers and our locals. Our uh, livestock auction is just down the street, and it's on Saturdays, and that's what we did. And then it, it, it started off good, and we've just stayed with Saturdays from then on. I mean, with the recognition, we've had a lot of opportunities to do more days, but... Yeah. We stick to what what we started with and what does works well for us. And you're pretty busy with the shipping now and the ordering and all that, so it keeps you busy during the week. The online has really picked up. We started shipping in '08, and then during the pandemic, we was already in position, and it was we were very fortunate to already have that in place, and it was it was good. We were actually closed for about eight months, and our sales were up. We appreciate it. And thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Bet. Have a great day. Thank you. Yeah. Fine. You want beef ribs? You go to Blacks. Yeah. You want the whole experience? You come here. Um, you want um, sausage, you go to Kreitz. And Smitty's is great for an old overall blast of the past, like Lockhart, Texas, for uh, brisket. And the old, old school chopping boards and the fire out there. And that, that fire that's also, is, I, I love that. That was my I, favorite It is, part. it's kind of yeah. cool. It's, over, it's, um, it's Smitty's, but, but Smitty's also is a quintessential Texas restaurant that you want to go to have a blast of the past. No, they did change it's their really chairs. Cool meat market, kind of just an awesome, it awesome is. feel. It okay. started off as a real meat market. If you ask for the back tour, they actually show where they actually butcher the cows and break them down and all that. And whatever they couldn't sell, they made barbecue out of it way back when. But so Smitty's is the oldest. So if you want to get a touch of history, you see that black set in the fire and they're great. And the guy, Arturo yeah. and Pedro have been working there for the last 40 years. And 30 years ago, they're still working there. And man, they have not aged well. But anyhow, <laughs> if you're seeing, if you watch us, you have not aged well. But anyhow, you look good though. They're still working every day. <laughs> no, no, you're really good. And if you want a beef rib. You're young, you're 80 years young. <laughs> beef rib, blacks. Blacks makes the best beef rib. Best beef rib I've ever had. Well, guys, very nice meeting you. Yeah, nice happy to birthday. Meet you too. Oh, Perry, Ori, happy, yeah. happy birthday. This is Cody. Yep. You guys are awesome. Yeah. And this is Good Zach. He's part of our club you too, Zach. The best. Thank you guys. Yeah, nice to Have meet you. Have a great day. Thank you. you. Hey, hey, you know what? If you think this is great, see last year's video. Check it out right here. This is such a great day. These guys this is fun. Get here. This is like a big party, and everyone's here just having just a great time. Honestly, like, you gotta come to Snows. I'm buying. I'm buying. It's my birthday. I'm